Number 32. One method of generating electricity is by burning coal to heat water, which produces steam that drives an electric generator. To determine the rate at which coal is to be fed into the burner in this type of plant, the heat of combustion per ton of coal must be determined using a bomb calorimeter. When 1.00 grams of coal is burned into a bomb calorimeter, see figure 5.17, the temperature increases by 1.48 degrees Celsius. If the heat capacity of the calorimeter is 21.6 kilojoules per degree Celsius, determine the heat produced by combustion of a ton of coal, which is 2.000 times 10 to the third pounds. Okay. So, first things first, they tell you to look at figure uh, 5.17 to see what's going on here. So I just put this over here. This is what a bomb calorimeter looks like. It's basically this huge piece of equipment that basically can tell you how much energy is produced by feeding it X amount of uh, mass of a certain substance. Generally, it's going to be a hydrocarbon, and it usually tells about you know combustion. And in this case, it is being burned. Coal is being burned. It's undergoing combustion. So... That's what this bomb calorimeter looks like. Do we really need this piece of information to answer this question? Absolutely not. So, goodbye. That was simple as that. Now let's get on to the problem. So, the first thing is that they're talking about bomb calorimetry, right? Um, and we need to find out the heat of combustion, so a Q value, but per ton of coal. So that's the objective here. So maybe I'm going to write that down here. I'm going to say we need to find out the heat of combustion. So that's a Q value. And then per, which always means division. And we want it for a ton of coal. Now, they told us that a ton of coal equals to 2.000 times 10 to the 3 pounds. But... Maybe I can use pounds in here. Maybe I'm going to use a different uh, unit, but we'll see. So the first thing is, is we got to find out what the heat of the combustion is, right? Basically, this is just a Q value, right? So it's a Q value over a mass, we'll say, or an amount. So maybe I'll just say mass for now. So it's a bomb calorimeter. We're thinking of the bomb calorimeter formula, which is this guy, right? Now, it's not the one where it's the, the Q of the reaction where it's bomb plus water because they didn't say anything about water in this case. So I don't have to take that into consideration. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply by C, which is the heat capacity, times by the delta T. Now, they told us that the heat capacity of the calorimeter was 21.6 kilojoules. So they gave me that information, 21.6 kilojoules per degree Celsius. And then let's see, they said that the temperature increased by 1.48 degrees Celsius. They didn't tell me a starting temp, they didn't tell me an ending temp, but they did tell me the change. It increased by that amount. And if you went up in temperature, your delta T will be a positive value. So this would just be 1.48 and not negative 0.48. Now we have both of them, so let's figure out what that heat is going to be. So all I gotta do is just take 21.6, 21.6 multiplied by 1.48. Okay, so let's see. 21.6 times 1.48, and I get the heat of the bomb and that's in 31.968, and that's kilojoules. Now, technically, this is the amount of heat that is required when one gram of coal is burned, right? So this amount, kilojoule, this would basically be over one gram of the coal, but we want it in a ton of coal. So basically, if I can, what we have to do is we just have our number 31.968, right? 
We already have it in units of kilojoules per one gram of coal. Now all we have to do is just change the one gram into the ton. So I have to convert this into pound, into grams, right? They told me that a ton of coal is 2,000, uh, 2.000 times 10 to the three pounds. So I'm going to use my conversion factor that I wrote down here, right? One pound is equal to 453.592 grams to just convert, uh, you know, back and forth between them. So I'll just say 2,000. Uh, 2.000 times 10 to the 3 LBS. I'll just do a quick conversion. Pounds on the bottom, grams up on top. One pound equals the 453.592. Pounds cancel out. Now we have what the amount is, right? So let's see. 2.000 E to the third times... 453.592. So I get 907184. So 907,184 grams this is. So if I just want to find out what the heat is, I need to get rid of this grams. So I'm just going to times by the amount that I need. If I times it by 907184 grams, what's going to happen to the grams? They cancel. And now I'm just left with how much heat is going to be produced. So let's do it. 31.968 times 907184. Big, 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 big number. A lot of heat is generated here. So I'm just gonna put that over here. So the Q would be, oh man, let's say two point and how many sig figs? I say three, so 2.90 times 10 to the, oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's in kilojoules. A lot of heat. That's incredible. Smokestacks. Okay. That's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I'll see you all in future lessons. Take care. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.